My husband and I sat down and watched the straight story the other night. A lovely, true tale of 73-year-old Alvin Strait, who rode his lawnmower across Iowa to visit his ailing brother. There are a lot of delightful lessons in the movie. You're never too old for a coming-of-age adventure. It's never too late to make amends. Life is not fair to those with perceived disabilities. The kindness of strangers can be found in the most unexpected places. A lesson can often have more impact when told in story form than as a lecture. Which leads me to a scene I simply can't get off my mind. Our hero Alvin finds himself sharing his campfire with a young runaway where he tells her how he used to give each of his seven children a stick and have them break it into short pieces. Of course, they thought this was fun as it was easy. He then had them tie those short sticks into bundles and then try to break them. When they couldn't, he explained to them that this, this was family. When he woke the next morning, the runaway had left him a bundle of sticks. She got the message. What a sweet experience, right? Well, yes. However, I can't seem to get it out of my mind because the world seems to have changed since Mr. Strait taught this lesson to his children. Now I look at that bundle of sticks and I think about the sticks that have separated themselves into separate bundles for political or religious reasons. I think of the sticks who are no longer part of any bundle as they are part of the over 4 million dead from COVID since the beginning of the pandemic. I think about the sticks involved in the rise of suicides, substance use overdose doses and deaths, psychiatric hospital admissions, domestic abuse cases and the like that have tripled in the past year. I think of the sticks who simply don't have time to be in the bundle and like Alvin and his brother, I think of the sticks who had fallen out decades ago and they can't even remember the reason for it. My message today is not to hop on your lawnmower and get right with your family, although in a perfect world, that is exactly what we would do. What I see when I look around me are bundles of sticks made up of community. The community you choose. The community who chooses you. The community that checks in on you. The community who loves you just the way you are. The community with common vision and purpose. The community that makes you a better you. That is the bundle of sticks that becomes unbreakable in today's world. It's a blessing if your family or even part of your family is part of it. If not, then go out there and be the best and most authentic you that you can be. I hope that your family can see that and be proud of you for living up to your values and character. If not, community is a wonderful form of family. The most important thing is that you know in your heart that you are good people and that you are doing the right thing. Not because someone else tells you it's the right thing, but because you know in your heart and soul that it is done in love and light. May you be surrounded by the loveliest sticks in your bundle of community, and may it be tied tightly with love. My name is the Reverend Kathy Crosby, and there you have it, short and sweet. <laughs>